Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Oh, hey everybody. I was just using Microsoft Word here on my iPad. Uh, you can do it too. All you need to do is download the free application on live desktop. Mm. Uh, this is Word. Actually, I'm connected to a version of Windows. I can ha access Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Paint, uh, the Windows calculator, uh, pretty much uh, anything you might want to have on your iPad that you didn't think existed for your iPad. This is full access uh, to these Office products. Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Okay, so, so now what are you waiting for? I'm sure you've already gone to download it, but is Windows with Word on your iPad right for you? We've asked this question, uh, and we know that uh, this has uh, been a very um, hot topic uh, since the launch of the iPod. Yeah, but I can't use Microsoft Office. Well, now you can, uh, if you didn't know it already. And we've really outlined our experiences with it. Maybe you've had good experiences, bad experiences with on-live desktops, specifically with these Office applications. It, it's, it's fast, or at least fast enough. Uh, the article linked in the description here, I'm going to go ahead and plus one it, and uh, hopefully you will as well. If you like it, you can share it. Uh, you may have had different experiences, but you know, to me, it's about fitting what you need. Now, if you didn't want to switch to an office alternative because, no, I like Word, and that's just the way it is. Okay, now you can access it directly from your iPad. There, there's no must, no fuss, and the files automatically synchronize as long as you've signed up for the account uh, for the on-live desktop, which you can do right now for free. Uh, so you got to do the, the account sign-up thing anyway. What do you guys think? Okay, so docs to go. Uh, someone uh, else uh, prefers pages, Bentar. Uh, you know, I am, am a big Google Docs fan, but I think the bottom line is options. Okay, and now you know you have access to these options, so you don't even need to have a Windows install. This is not a copy of my Windows. This is actually someone else's Windows that I'm connecting to using my free on-live desktop account right there, see? And I log in, and uh, then it signs me in, and then takes me directly to that desktop experience. So you can get up and running with it immediately uh, if you want. Uh, my greater question is, uh, do you really want this? Did you really want Microsoft Office? on your iPad. Is, is, is this a, a good idea, an okay idea? Is this going to get you over the hump to possibly get you to buy an iPad now that you know you can have access to this remote Windows desktop machine without actually having Windows installed? This is, Seriously, it's like, this is Windows for what most people might want to use it for. That would be the Office suite of applications. Uh, and maybe so, maybe not. Uh, I think it's a good option to have. And uh, if you missed our video on it a few weeks ago, uh, this is just a reminder, uh, if only because we've analyzed the, uh, uh, I guess, the positives uh, and the, uh, I guess, I wouldn't say negatives, but the drawbacks to using something like this. Uh, bottom line is, it's more options, folks. So what do you guys think? Office on the iPad, you want to see it, you don't want to see it, you indifferent, you don't really care, you'd rather go another way, you don't think that this is a good idea? Just let me know your thoughts. We're curious.